I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. I will be the first to tell you, within the last week and a half, things have been very complicating, confusing for Denny Hamlin and Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota in general. Denny Hamlin, on his podcast, Actions Detrimental, says a deal between him and Joe is practically done. However, it is now up to Toyota to get a deal agreed on with 2311 Racing, whose contract ends at the end of the 2023 season. And if a deal cannot be agreed to, they're going to be looking elsewhere. Uh, Chevy is still in the picture, but the leading candidate is going to be Ford. Uh, Ford and 2311 Racing had a little brief meeting, uh, according to some sources, back in Michigan a couple of weeks ago, talking about 2024. And things seem pretty much like a lock right now if Toyota does not resign. 2311 Racing will then go to Ford, and Denny Hamlin is not going to race a separate manufacturer team and car, so he's going to be on the move also. So it's going to get very heated. And I will say this, after listening to his week's podcast, if this doesn't get you thinking, I don't know what will, he's going to push Bubba Wallace before his teammate Ty Gibbs. Come on now. That just shows you his loyalty for the team is starting to go down. He knows something that we don't know. But though, if he's going to go race for his own team, maybe Stewart Haas Racing, I don't know. How's he going to get a chart? Right now, Tony Stewart and Gene Haas are trying to figure out ways to make their team successful. And right now, as a four-car organization, it is not cutting it. And they may just sell two of their charters. And there's four drivers right now on the team, but which ones are gonna be the safe? Obviously, Josh Berry coming in replacing Kevin Harvick, he's obviously gonna be safe. Now, the other driver is gonna be Chase Briscoe. They're highly invested in him, and uh, Ford is getting a lot of money for him to Stewart Haas Racing. So that's going to be a driver lineup regardless if they still two charters. So Eric Amarola more than likely going to retire. And Ryan Priest probably going to be left without a right. He's not cutting it right now. Uh, we see some weekends where Stewart Haas is just good. He's off the pace. Simple as that. So I believe one charter, if not both, may go to 2311 race. Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan have them pockets. Denny Hamlin, he'll slide right into that right. If they get the second charter, Zane Smith will be the go-to guy. But though, if it goes to track house racing, it's gonna really heat up. Because with that Shane Van Gisbergen seat, where's Zane Smith gonna go? Him and front row seem like they're splitting up at the end of this year from the truck series. He may make a leap to Cup or Xfinity. I don't know. He's definitely gonna leave Ford unless 2311 Racing gets him a seat or Stuart Haas Racing has the 10 car open, which I believe is getting slimmer by the day because the likelihood of them selling both of them charters are increasing by the minute. So there you go. Denny Hamlin and 2311 Racing, probably gonna go to Ford in 2024. And with that, there's gonna be two charters involved. If they can get both, good. If they can get one, that's really good. So uh, enough said here, but everybody though, remember to please like and subscribe and comment down below on what you think is going to happen, because I believe it's going to get very, very spicy and complicated and confusing, and it's going to set up for an interesting 2025 Silly Season Driver lineup. Everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.